So there's been a huge leak about One UI 7, and I have to say, this is the biggest makeover Samsung has ever done to their One UI software. What's up guys, Sal here. So we have 10 big changes here, let's break it down. First up, the dynamic island. Samsung seems to have been drinking a lot of Apple juice recently. We've seen their recent hardware looking more like Apple devices, and now it looks like the software is following suit. One UI 7 is getting its own version of the dynamic island. A brief video shows this feature in action. It's basically an expanding status bar chip that animates in and out. It's definitely inspired by Apple, but Samsung has placed the app pill on the left side instead of the center. Now, is it a shameless copy? Maybe, but let's be real. The dynamic island is a pretty cool feature. If it means we get to enjoy it on our Samsung phones, I'm not complaining. I've always wanted something similar on my Samsung phone, so while Apple fans might be rolling their eyes, I'm personally stoked. Next, Samsung is also focusing on improving its ecosystem with features like continuity. Imagine answering a call on your phone and seamlessly transferring to your tablet or TV with a simple gesture. This is a huge step forward for Samsung and could really improve the whole ecosystem of Samsung devices. Next, Samsung is introducing a completely new set of icons with One UI 7. The icons are getting a fresh, modern look with gradients and shadows giving them a 3D look. It's a big departure from the previous flat design and honestly, it's a welcome change. There are also classic and bold icon layouts with the bold option making the icons bigger and removing the text underneath them. Another interesting change is the way the notification tray and quick settings are being split into separate panels. Now you swipe down from the right side for quick settings and from the left side for notifications. It's a bit like iOS. The camera UI is getting a serious upgrade too. Samsung is finally moving all the controls to the bottom of the screen, making it much easier to use with one hand. One of the design updates include more rounded UI elements. Notifications now have a more rounded look with extra space between them. Settings, quick actions, and other components also have softer edges, which matches the new icon design nicely. Another exciting update is the promise of smoother animations on par with iOS. While we don't have a video to showcase these animations yet, but if they can really pull it off, it could make the user experience feels a lot more fluid and responsive. There are also some smaller tweaks like renaming AR emoji to Galaxy Avatar and updating the battery icon in the status bar to show the percentage inside the icon. Finally, One UI 7 will bring some impressive camera optimizations for the Galaxy S24 Ultra. The 1x and 5x 50 megapixel modes for the primary and telephoto cameras are expected to deliver the same picture quality as pixel bin 12 megapixel photos. This means you can expect better clarity, colors, and dynamic range in your photos. If this is true, it's going to be a big upgrade for the S24 Ultra's camera. Overall, One UI 7 is bringing some major changes, and most of them are pretty exciting. Sure, there are some features that feel a bit too inspired by iOS, and Samsung isn't even being subtle with it, which is a little surprising. But hey, if it means we get a better overall experience, I'm all for it. By the way, these aren't the final changes. This is an early build and significant alteration could occur before the final stable release. And I'll make sure to keep you updated. In the meantime, here's some great news for the foldable fans waiting for the Ultra variant. Click right here for more details and I'll see you there.